Hello and welcome. Uh, but after, be, just before we move to uh, firewall and uh, its policy and uh, the let's say the planning for your firewall, uh, we need uh, one more package uh, to add to our system to provide some uh, let's say um, robustness to our firewall. Uh, it's a small piece of uh, package. Uh, also it's uh, available from pfsense uh, 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 pfsense uh, let's say rep repository uh, so you just need uh, to install it, it uh, it's almost configured uh, i i want to show you how to install it but uh, it takes uh, just uh, some time to 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 be downloaded and uh, extracted do you see that uh, it's extracted then uh, uh, it will be installed so i just cut that uh, pa uh, part of time uh, for you uh, to um, to uh, let's say not get you bored from uh, this uh, video uh, what i did is just uh, i go to packages and from packages uh, pfsense provide a lot of packages now we have an installed package with uh, which is uh, squid 3 uh, squid 3 is uh, really a piece of art uh, uh, really it has a lot of features and a lot of integration so it's uh, integrated to https uh, squid uh, combine uh, proxy uh, uh, also uh, uh, exchange web access so also uh, it's uh, provide you with antivirus integration via ICAP uh, so you go to uh, available packages then you uh, press control F after the control F uh, you type uh, squid then you have squid uh, just the other squid see now squid 3 or you say maybe you should type squid 3 but we have installed squid 3 so we don't have any results but if you type just squid 3 uh, it will be the first or the second match uh, then uh, uh, just I want to go and uh, show you uh, squid uh, squid cache .org. okay squid uh, it ha uh, it's uh, it has a lot of features also squid uh, uh, provide you with functionality for small businesses uh, and uh, for home use and for enterprise it can be used as web caching to customize and uh, reduce uh, the limit of uh, of uh, web surfing uh, so uh, squid uh, also uh, if you go to uh, squid uh, cache.org uh, also it has a lot of uh, information related to optimization configuration also has uh, guides and examples so you almost have uh, every you, you you can have everything you need to configure squid but uh, I think I think uh, for just a small uh, home you uh, you can just use uh, those configurations so uh, uh, you can you can uh, improve those for you but those uh, let's say uh, like uh, the perfect for home use just that uh, so I will go to uh, proxy server, which is squid uh, now uh, What is the interfaces you want to squid to work on now? We have LAN DMZ you don't want to uh, also you can use one so it will cache uh, the web uh, or the The let's say the things <laughs> uh, Going to, to the internet from your firewall but it's rarely uh, useful because you don't use uh, your uh, firewall 
uh, for something like let's say um, you use it just to install packages and something like that so maybe you should uh, not do this uh, also we have now uh, uh, this is just for uh, let's say hierarchy caching uh, so uh, ICP uh, you will not use ICP it's for enterprise uh, let's say uh, disable ICMP uh, uh, I, squid has a functionality which is binker helper uh, so you can also disable if you have uh, any concern about ICMP uh, things now uh, you have your uh, your PCs or your host behind the firewall uh, those PCs or uh, hosts uh, they will connect to the internet through your firewall now you have many choices but uh, I think uh, doing transparent proxies uh, it will be beneficial for you because you will uh, we will turn on the antivirus support for uh, our caching so uh, where you want your transparent proxy to work we want it to work on LAN and DMZ bypass proxy for private addresses uh, private addresses it's just like tell you that if you are inside an enterprise with the private uh, addresses inside so you all of your uh, IP addresses uh, uh, that uh, interaction between departments you don't want these things to be cached because you are inside and you have bandwidth uh, just like let's say 100 megabit per second or maybe fiber optics with uh, 1 gigabit per second uh, you can say bypass proxy for private addresses uh, destination uh, bypass proxy for uh, these source addresses so just like your post or something you um, uh, you you maybe you bypass this uh, for uh, things now sometimes you will make a policy like uh, you want uh, the children or your uh, your uh, visitors to your home or to your office to bypass proxy uh, for some destinations uh, so they will not bypass the proxy uh, like let's say for YouTube they, they will not uh, they cannot re uh, uh, surf or watch videos on YouTube uh, but you want your uh, your IP addresses 192.168.57 uh, and your PC is uh, like um, 100 so this will bypass and the, uh, he will go uh, your PC will, will go to uh, YouTube but uh, this is not something we will put in uh, and then enable logging enable logging you may uh, want to enable logging if you have something wrong uh, and squid start uh, blocking some uh, sites like what happened with me when I uh, got to um, vmware.com uh, uh, squid uh, I don't know what happened so squid uh, just blocked that website for me then what I did is just enable login and uh, don't miss this also uh, uh, oh, um, this uh, log rotate you should put it like something like uh, weak or something because uh, if you lift it without rotating so it will start logging and logging forever it will fill up your uh, hard disk drive now um, I think that's it uh, maybe for security concerns you will uh, just suppress a squid uh, version but uh, squid uh, is uh, really uh, good and uh, robust so maybe you uh, don't need to do that uh, also 
that's everything I think this is the first piece of the equation now the second piece of the equation is uh, local caching uh, this is something you will read about 20 pages about uh, about the cache replacement uh, and about the uh, mechanisms uh, used to do that and what's better for you now this is well concern for enterprise uh, you should make it uh, uh, you should uh, uh, should then take about take about uh, you shouldn't take care about it uh, now lower uh, water mark in is like okay if uh, I have one gig of uh, local cash and it's fill about uh, nine five so the uh, this is like uh, I will have concern if it's uh, like uh, more than 95 percent so between 97 and 95 when it reaches 97 it will fill up to 95 that's it every time after after we pass the 95 it start thinking of how to uh, how, uh, when it reaches the 97 that's it uh, after we reach 97 it will fill back to 95 percent of our uh, local cache uh, do not cache enable offline mode this is if you have like one meg uh, one meg of uh, bandwidth maybe you will enable it for offline mode uh, external cache managers you don't need it hardest cache now uh, if you uh, if your uh, connection to the internet like uh, for your home or uh, for business sometimes it's like five fifty percent of the traffic is just uh, uh, repeated and repeated for uh, uh, newspapers and for uh, some websites uh, so it's almost a static HTML uh, I think if you have a lot of uh, disk space and uh, we know that uh, we have uh, 80 gig at least of uh, uh, disk uh, memory uh, disk, uh, disk space uh, or hard disk drive so you can leave it like 25 uh, gig uh, of uh, disk now uh, hard disk uh, cache system uh, make it uh, AUFS because AUFS will not uh, block uh, block uh, what is the asynchronous IO which is input output things uh, cache uh, clear cache on log rotate uh, yes you will clear cache on log rotate every seven days uh, and uh, level one leave it alone uh, this is uh, related to how the local uh, the local cache is uh, arranged and uh, uh, managed and uh, let's say um, planned for and uh, now maximum object uh, leave it zero it's okay now m uh, memory cache in size um, if you are if you have like home um, or boys small boys in your home and they love to watch uh, YouTube videos or some videos uh, from uh, uh, from the web uh, my advice to give it 100 megabit because sometimes they uh, see this video of uh, some uh, I don't know what animals uh, running or jumping uh, and they uh, 
uh, they uh, I'm sorry not memory cache size memory cache size half your memory if you have one gig it's uh, uh, 50 uh, 512 and this will be 100 so you have maximum object size let's make sure that um, yeah I think I have okay for now we will leave it 50 uh, 20 uh, 256 because um, I think I uh, put like 500 uh, RAM for this virtual machine and the maximum object size this is what I say about the videos and the things this is for uh, your ROMs uh, memory replacement policy you don't need it uh, cache dynamic content uh, sometimes for uh, Windows updates uh, sy synaptic those uh, it's good but if you all or almost all of your PCs is Windows uh, systems Windows operating system maybe you will uh, need to enable it uh, it's good uh, but I'm not and then save your changes What happened? I think. Oh, 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 oh! I know now. I know now what happened. Okay. Uh, because uh, I just like have uh, some gig of uh, uh, memory, so I just will put it like. Uh, one five hundred so it's gig and a half then we will save our changes you see so make sure you have the uh, disk space uh, you need uh, to do now uh, now let's let's talk about the antivirus the antivirus you don't need much here just enable it and make it make save for that that's it uh, now I will not uh, turn uh, this uh, antivirus on because uh, oh maybe you sh we should show you something or anything and that's it so now it will go to the internet to the claim AV database and will cache some uh, signature for your antivirus so when you go to the internet and search the web and download things it will scan those for you and uh, make sure uh, they are healthy and you will get all of your data Um, and I think that's everything you need and small uh, size let's say um, yeah yeah maybe here you he uh, what he say finished transfer if more than X finished so uh, if you have just small amount of bandwidth leave those zero zero if you don't uh, if you have uh, like 10 gig, 10 meg of uh, bandwidth maybe you should put it like uh, let's say uh, uh, 512 and this is uh, 124 and I tell you uh, I tell you the this is for me zero zero and 90 
because I have uh, I have a home they are all uh, fascinating and uh, uh, care a lot about uh, videos so I, w I want to make sure that uh, they, uh, my squid caching will not cache anything if they uh, almost reach uh, they, they don't reach 90% of that uh, video um, and that's it now let's go to the authentication maybe you uh, you uh, you need authentication but for your home you don't need authentication you can add users and uh, something so you can add users and say uh, just for let's say mom or let's say dad and you put your password and save them then you you will go to the authentication and you will say authentication local uh, authentication prompt what's the display the, the top of the authentication request window authentication process and authentication uh, you, you can see that we you have uh, just those three options uh, those are grayed out and uh, that's everything about squid now uh, one final thing uh, just want to make sure that I covered everything about squid uh, let's say not squid about the basic squid for your home uh, that's it just make sure that your log system uh, if you have anything wrong with your squid you can go to uh, squid to system uh, no not to system this is squid proxy server and to the real time here you will see uh, you will see uh, squid logs squid guard logs and others and that's everything for squid thank you for listening have a nice time